Right now on NBC 26 Live at 5, President Trump visits Las Vegas today, plus a suspected shooter's girlfriend back in the United States and being questioned by the FBI. And Secretary of State Rex Tillerson addresses reports saying he considered leaving his post amid tensions with the president. And location announcement. Leaders with Foxconn say where they're planning to build their multi-billion dollar plans. We do begin tonight with continuing coverage of the tragedy in Las Vegas. The girlfriend of the gunman behind the massacre is back in the U.S. and being interviewed by authorities. They're hoping she provides new insight into the motive for the attack, which killed 58 and left hundreds wounded. Sarah Dolliff has the very latest from Las Vegas. President Trump on the ground in Las Vegas. You showed the world and the world is watching and you showed what professionalism is all about. Meeting with first responders, medical workers and victims of Sunday's massacre. In the months ahead, we will all have to wrestle with the horror of what has unfolded this week. But we will struggle through it together. Overnight, a key figure in uncovering the gunman's motive returned to the U.S. Stephen Paddock's girlfriend, Mary Lou Danley, who police call a person of interest, had been in the Philippines since before the shooting. And now a chilling look inside Stephen Paddock's hotel room in photos obtained by the Daily Mail. Guns in chairs, spent ammo littering the floor. Authorities say they are investigating how the images were leaked to several news outlets. This is they released officer body camera video. Hey, they're shooting right at us, guys. Everybody stay down. A three-minute sampling of the chaos as officers helped concert goers to safety. Go, go, go. That way, that way, that way, that way. The death toll recently revised by the coroner. Among them, a 28-year-old Navy veteran who served in Afghanistan and was in Las Vegas with his mother. He went to combat and came back without being injured and goes to a concert and dies. A 34-year-old beloved mother of three, a wrestling coach celebrating his wedding anniversary. Kristen Babick was shot in the back but survived. I want to thank the people who risked their lives to stick around or run toward it because I don't know if I'd be here today if I didn't have the help. Gratitude for those who risked everything to help strangers amid the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. In Las Vegas, Sarah Dolliff, NBC News. Country music star Jason Aldean is canceling a string of concerts after the shooting. Aldean says he's canceling this coming weekend shows in Los Angeles, San Diego and Anaheim, California, adding, quote, I feel out of respect for the victims, their families and our fans. It is the right thing to do. Aldean says he plans to return to the stage on October 12th in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Before continuing coverage of the tragedy in Las Vegas and to learn more about the victims, visit our website or download our app. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says he is not going anywhere. Tillerson delivered a statement this morning saying he was never considering resigning from his post. The comments come after sources say Tillerson had threatened to quit over the summer amid growing tensions and after Tillerson reportedly referred to the president as, quote, moron following a July meeting at the Pentagon. I'm just, I'm not going to deal with petty stuff like that. I mean, this is, this is what I don't understand about Washington. Again, you know, I'm not from this place, but the places I come from, we don't deal with that kind of petty nonsense. And it is intended to do nothing but divide people. And I'm just not going to be part of this effort to divide this administration. Speaking at the State Department, Tillerson reaffirmed his commitment to the president and downplayed any notion of a feud. We're learning more about the investigation into Russia's 2016 presidential election meddling. Sources with direct knowledge of the situation say Russian-linked Facebook ads specifically targeted Michigan and Wisconsin. President Trump won both of those states by small margins, and they were both key to his presidential victory. Sources say some of the ads were very sophisticated in targeting key demographic groups in pivotal areas. Well, it's time now for your first forecast, Cameron. A Pretty much perfect Wednesday for us with lots of sunshine out there. 100% sunshine, Cassandra, and all that sunshine allow temperatures to warm up into the mid and upper 60s. A far cry from what we've been seeing the last several days. Right now it is 65 degrees in Green Bay. We've got 69 in Madison, but you can see even cooler conditions off to the north and west where highs were only in the mid to upper 50s today. Your evening planner calls for setting sunshine, then clear skies. 57 when you walk the dog, 51 when you take out that trash at 9 o'clock. Look for upper 40s by 11. Cass.
Thanks, Cameron. New information tonight. We now know the location where Foxconn leaders plan to build their multi-billion dollar plant right here in Wisconsin. NBC 26's Stacey Gabretson is live at 5 with those details. Well, Taiwanese electronics manufacturer Foxconn Technology Group says it plans to build its facility in the village of Mount Pleasant. They'll be making LCD display screens. The exact site was announced by local officials today following months of negotiations with the company and landowners. Mount Pleasant has a population of about 26,000. Racine County leaders say the intended industrial complex would be the largest in the state and could eventually Eventually employ, employ 13,000 people. The size of 20 Amazons, by far the largest project in the state. This will, in fact, be one of the largest manufacturing campuses in the world. The state legislature approved a $3 billion incentive package for Foxconn, and the state's economic development agency is working on the final contract. A local economic development official says Foxconn will do some prep work this year and start construction in the second quarter of next year. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear reaction from both Republicans and Democrats on today's announcement. Keeping you connected, Stacey Engebretson, NBC 26. Thanks, Stacey. The fate of Appleton coded in combined locks remains uncertain as stakeholders try to reach a deal to save the company. It does mean, though, that 400 workers are still temporarily out of a job. NBC 26's Shara Taylor joins us live in the newsroom now with an update. Cassandra, County Executive Tom Nelson says last week a county judge requested a plan that would keep Appleton coded open for workers. It is now past the deadline for a deal. Nelson says that Appleton coded is a receivership in receivership and when he learned industrial assets would bid on the company did not plan to keep the company in operation as a paper mill he objected he says the company has been open for over 100 years providing people in the county with good paying jobs and closing the company's doors would be catastrophic this has been the lifeblood this has been the economic backbone um, of you know fox valley jobs in the economy so it is very important that we do everything we can to get the mill running and to save those jobs. We called out a Gamey County court at 3.30 this afternoon and there was no update. Assistance for the judge say a plan to keep the mill open has not been finalized. The Bay Area Workforce Development Board says they're helping those workers affected by the layoffs here how the assisting at 6. Reporting live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Shara Taylor, NBC 26. Last month was the safest September on Wisconsin roads since World War II, according to the Wisconsin DOT. The department says 41 people died in traffic accidents last month. That's six people fewer than last year and 16 people below the five year average for the month. This year, 438 people have died on Wisconsin roads through September. State Representative Bob Gannon, a West Bend Republican in his second term, has died. Gannon's family says he died yesterday of natural causes. He was 58. He was first elected in 2014 and built a reputation as pro gun and tough on crime. Wisconsin health officials say the expiration of the federal children's health insurance program will not immediately affect children and families in our state. The program provides health coverage to families that make too much money to qualify for Medicaid, but don't make enough to afford private insurance. State health officials say Wisconsin has enough funds from the program to continue giving coverage until April of next year. Happening now, new plans tonight for a golf course in Oshkosh. City leaders say selling this space is the right answer to keep jobs, but some are not happy with these current plans. NBC 26's Shane Gustafson is live in Oshkosh now with more for us. Shane. Yeah, Cassandra, we'll get the chance to see these plans inside the Oshkosh Convention Center here. These are all possible options if the Lakeshore Golf Course in town is sold. Now, the debate has raged on for a while here in town, with some saying the city council didn't allow input on the possible sale. The city says the land would go to Oshkosh Corporation to build a new headquarters, and the company has a very detailed list in terms of what it's asking for. People on the golf course say they like their hangout, but the city says it likes jobs. Well, we have 31 uh, golf courses within a 30-mile radius of Oshkosh, but there's only one company that's a Fortune 500 company in our community that has a $150 million supply chain, which means that a lot of small businesses in our community depend on Oshkosh Corporation. 
Now, the city says this is important because uh, just because the company is named after the city it's in doesn't mean it can't leave. So it could really go anywhere else in the country. Now, the public's meeting is scheduled to last for a few more hours. I'll head inside and bring you the latest coming up tonight at 6. Keeping you connected in Oshkosh, Shane Gustafson, NBC 26. Shane, thanks so much. Coming up next, live at 5, if you have a Yahoo account, hackers might have taken your information. We have the details you need to know. And if your kids are eating off certain plates and bowls, be careful. A company is recalling some of its material because of choking concerns.